Welcome to a family art workshop presented by Wheaton Arts. In this video, we will be creating a polymer clay coil pot. The required materials are polymer clay in a variety of colors, a small rolling pin, a clay knife, clay modeling tools, a mini terracotta pot that will be used as a mold, and aluminum foil. Begin by choosing colors and conditioning the polymer clay. This means working the clay until it is soft and malleable. To condition the clay by hand, begin rolling the clay in between your hands. The warmth from your hands will help soften the clay. Once the clay is soft, begin to make a clay coil. A clay coil is similar to a Play-Doh snake. Begin to shape the coil between your hands. Next, place the fat, short coil on a smooth surface. Place both of your hands on top of the coil and begin to roll back and forth. Beginning in the center of the coil, move your hands towards the end of the clay as you roll. The coil should be thinner than the width of a finger. We will be using a mini terracotta, terracotta pot as a mold. Flip the pot upside down with the rim of the pot on the surface. Beginning just above the banded rim, place the coil around the pot measure where the coil meets. Remove the coil and place it back on the surface. Cut each end at an angle where the two ends meet. Cutting the ends at an angle will create a smooth transition when they meet. Save all of the excess coil lengths. We will use them later. Place the coil back on the terracotta pot and join the ends together by gently smudging the ends. Continue this process until the coils are about half an inch from the bottom of the terracotta pot. Use your finger to gently press downwards to compress the coils together. When the coils reach a half an inch from the bottom of the terracotta pot, begin to create a flat disc for the bottom. 
Roll a ball of clay that is about the size of a small meatball. Squish the ball between your palms and then place it on the surface. Use a rolling pin to further flatten the ball. The goal is to make this flat disc larger than the bottom of the terracotta pot so that it overlaps the coils. Place the disc on the bottom and gently press it into the coils with your fingers. Roll another flat disc. This time make it slightly smaller. This disc will add thickness to the bottom of the polymer coil pot. Press the disc onto the bottom of the pot to measure. This will leave an imprint on the clay. Using a clay knife, trim along the imprint to remove the excess. Place the disc on the bottom of the pot and press to attach. Use a clay modeling tool with a smooth rounded bottom to blend one coil into another. This will serve to connect the coils as well as become a decorative element. Consider the rim of the pot. If desired, create a decorative rim. Using the ends of the coils that you saved, braid or twist them together. Place the braided coil onto the pot. If it is too short, create additional decorative elements to add length. I am making three small flat discs that will join the decorative rim to each end. Use a modeling tool to blend the decorative rim into the body of the pot.
Remove the coil pot from the terracotta pot. Place the pot on a small piece of aluminum foil and bake at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. When the pot is finished baking, remove the pot and allow it to cool. The clay will harden as it cools.